That's right. And once again, my name is Pedro Reyes. You are tuned in to Setting the Standard. KPFA, we're talking with Festo from Hieroglyphics. We also got Reporte Ilegal Wilson right here. We got Max Tape in the house with the crew of Sonido Clash. So Hieroglyphics crew is a crew based out of Oakland, California. And um, we all grew up in Oakland, all all um, pretty much born and raised. We were just following, we were just trying to build on what was what had already been built and not like recycle anything. We wanted to, we wanted to speak on broader topics and uh, broader, you know, in, in more personal situations, you know what I'm saying? So being lyrical and being original was something that we learned as, you know, as kids, like in hip hop, that's what, that was the number one rule. The number one rule was to be original, even if you was a b boy, if you was you was break dancing and you was biting some other dude, if you did some move, some freeze or something that was somebody else's freeze, you was biting. That wasn't original. You used to get clown for that. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same thing with the rhymes. If you was biting somebody else style, cats would point you out like, oh, he trying to do Rakim or he trying to do Kane or he trying to do Run DMC. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of copycats in hip hop right now, and that's not where it came from. It was all about being original and all about being yourself and and you know speaking on your own personal level and that's what lifts up the that's what lifts up the culture and lifts up the art form if people keep recycling the same thing over and over it will never grow and it will just be the same thing over and over so we wanted to um you know push the art form forward that's what we that's what we're projecting more than just something that's on the surface you know that's it's deeper than just than just what you hear through the music. And music is a music is a vibration. So, um, you know, that's another thing that the symbol represents is is harmonic resonance. And that's that vibration. Nice. What about Souls of Paul Mis Mischief? Souls of Mischief is um is just, you know, music comes from the soul, man. That's where it comes from. Um, so when you think about mischief, you think about like havoc and creating havoc, and that's what that's what we tried to do on the microphone. It's just, you know, it's not it's not really malicious like that. It's not really malicious intent like that. It's just like agitating you. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it was. It's like t taking this type of energy and then putting it in your rhymes, and then like you know, it's verbal jousting. So it's like you know, it's always a battlefield with MCs and that's where that's the that's the era we come from is like it's a you know it's it's like any any sport you know what I'm saying if you're on the soccer field or if you're on the football field if you're on the basketball court you know what I'm saying it's like when you in no in between those lines it's like we going at each other so that's the way MCing is too when you step in that arena it's like um you know my words are are you know I have to have some type of force behind my words and some type of meaning behind my words to attack you in the right way. So, um, you know, that, that mischief is, is where we redirected the negative energy into a positive energy and, and making it into something that's like in rhyme form. I, I mean, the actual high road day is really nine, three. three yes. And this was thought of by a fan. There was a fan that hit us up one day on Twitter and he was like, everybody wear your high road shirts on nine, three, and let's make that high road day. And then we just thought to turn it into like a, um, a, a sort of like block party event yeah. but it was actually thought up by a fan you know we want to be tangible people that people could talk to and you know all, and try to make the event the best it could be this is hip-hop the way that we the way that we want it to be the way that we envision going into a hip-hop festival uh 20 years after we started you know what i'm saying like this is bringing the essence it's all about the culture it's all about the b-boys it's all about the djs it's all about the graffiti writers so High road day this year is nine seven, fifteen, and uh, that's Monday. That's two weeks from from uh, from this this coming Monday. So, be there, be square.